What's up? This is Guy from a band. Welcome to the first segment of A Guy's Gotta Eat. Alright, so first things first, if you haven't seen the title of the video already, wherever it is, this is the world famous Jack Daniels beef patty recipe that only I know. So first things first, we're going to unwrap our goodie bags, see what we're cooking with today. Pepper. Salt. You will need all of these things. And as I say, it's option. Optionary. Optional. Optionary. And as I say, it's optional. Mince. Goodie bag one. Mustard. American Mild. You do not want it to be too potent, otherwise the ratios will be off. Garlic Steak Seasoning. And... HP Sauce. And... Jack Daniels. Alright, I'll get my bowls, and we'll get to cooking. Alright guys, now we've got our bowl, and... from our fingers removed, and washed. Time to get started into cooking. First, we will get the mince. Before the video starts, I'll probably add the amounts in, but if I forget, this is one kg of mince. You can make less at a time if you so choose. I would probably recommend it, but eh. I haven't calculated the exact measurements out myself. You can do it at home, figure it out for yourself later. Tea towel, very important. Wipe your hands of the sh In total, we will be adding 10 catfalls of Jack Daniels into our recipe. Catfalls with spillage. The amount you want to add in may vary, but for starters, I add in 3 catfalls of Jack Daniels into the mince. Then you mix that up. And parsley. We will need parsley. I forgot to mention that before. Now we will start by adding in the dried ingredients. Yes, what the chefs say. Salt. You need roughly about five rotations of grain salt. If you're using already grain salt, you're screwed, I guess. Pepper. You want enough to cover doing some Jack Daniels with a light layer of pepper so it looks slightly darkened. Nope. Nope. Damn. Open all this before I use it. Next we'll be adding in the garlic steak seasoning. Again you just want to lightly cover the top layer of the mince. Next, parsley. Parsley does absolutely nothing, but people like seeing greens in their patties, so you add enough till you see greenery in there. Done. Now we've got all the dry ingredients, we want to mix it all up. I should really get a shot of this. Unappealing, but once your mince looks like this, you want to start mixing. Again, don't be afraid to get in there with your hand. No wash, should be fine. Alright, so it's looking pretty good. Parsley is optional. If you don't want to see green, then fair enough. If you feel like you don't see enough green, add more, it's up to you. Like I said, it doesn't really do anything for the mixture. Now that we've added these in, we're going to add another two capfuls of Jack Daniels and start mixing that in as well. Right, so that's all added in. Now it's time to add our wet ingredients. We've only got two of them. Uh, what you want to do is spiral motion so you hit the center. No idea what kind of portions this is. I uh, will try and work it out later. So this is what it looks like once you've got it in. You just want to do a light layer just on the top. Oh, it sounds so off-putting. And after you've added your wet ingredients and they're all mixed in, to add another two catfuls of Jack Daniels. Bacon. Also, we've got to say bacon. We need bacon. Bacon. We've already chopped this up, camera. But we will need about four strips of shoulder bacon. Or if you're using bacon strips, you'll need to carve about eight strips of bacon strips. This will be the last ingredient we added. So we add in another three capfuls of Jack Daniels. Alright guys, so that's the mixing segment of everything done. We've got a giant bowl of pre-cooked beef patty. Now we're going to start going the smaller bowls, stacking them out so we have our individual meat patties to do. So what you want to start doing now, is grab about a palmful of the mixture. And you just want to slap it around. This will help get some of the rest of the air out of the mixture. And after you've done that a few times, you want to roll it up into a ball and then flatten it out. And then you have what looks like a beef patty. Um, basically, you want to keep doing this until the whole mixture is gone. So we've got some beef patties done up. Now we're just doing what we do to the pan, putting some butter in. You don't want to cook the patties on full blast. 
You want to cook them at a bit of a lower temperature, say about medium low. I usually just put it on high for the start though, just to melt all the butter, get things cooking. Now we can see the butter sizzling. Time to add our first beef patty. Here is a secret to this. You place it down and you leave it. You leave that alone for eight minutes. You don't touch it, you don't look at it, you don't talk dirty to it, you just leave it alone. It's been eight minutes, and as you can see now, the brownness or the cooked mint has reached just about the halfway point of the mint. So, now, just recoat that bit with the fat of the mint, flip it over, and leave it again, but this time for five minutes. This is something else you can do. is isn't part of the recipe, but it's something that makes the meal a bit more fun. Layer some cheese, and you've got yourself a cheese surprise. What you do, you layer out a hole in the patty like this. Push that one in the patty, like so. Grab this, chug it on. Get yourself a monster patty. You seal that godlike creation of cheese surprise, Jack Daniels beef patties. In five minutes on the one side. As you can see, was the smaller one, but it does shrink a bit. There you go. When you cook it, like that's where you want it to be. You don't want any pink on the inside. You want it to be cooked an even consistency all the way through. Tastes like beef, Jack, and hot. Jack Daniel's beef patties. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos that you'd like me to make, message me and I'll be more than happy to answer, either through message or through an explanation video, if I feel like there are a lot of people that would benefit from this answer. Because I know for me, I'd much rather watch a quick video than read five pages of notes. Guy from a band, everyone's got a week, signing off.